you want to install the Craftoria mod pack, the easiest way is to grab the Curseforge launcher. You'll find the link in the description. Once you launch it and log in, head over to the Browse mod packs tab. Type in Craftoria in the search box, then hit the install button. This part might take a bit since there are a lot of mods in this pack. While Craftora is installing, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. They make it super easy to set up Craftoria mod pack on your own server with just one click. Seriously, it's that simple. They offer a variety of server options tailored to fit your needs so you can start playing with friends right away. Their support team is always ready to help if you have any questions. If you're interested, check out the link in the description and don't forget to use the code APEX25 for 25% of your first server purchase. Big thanks to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. Once the modpack is installed, just click play and you'll see the Craftoria instance in the Minecraft launcher. If you want, you can increase the allocated RAM. Then go ahead and start the modpack. Again, this might take a little while because of all the mods. As you can see, everything is working fine. We see the new UI and we can move on to create our new world. Hmm, spawning right above pillagers isn't the best way to start the game. Hmm. But with the book we can see pretty much everything that this modpack introduces. Another option is to use Prism Launcher. After downloading and adding your Minecraft account, just click Add Instance, search for Craftoria in the CurseForge tab, select it and hit OK. The launcher will start downloading and might ask you to manually download a few mods, providing you with direct links. Once that's done, just confirm and the installation will finish shortly. Then you can launch the game and start playing. AT Launcher is another way to go. After downloading it and logging in with your Minecraft account, search for Craftoria in the Packs tab. Click Install and then hit Install again. The launcher might also ask you to manually download a few mods. After the installation is complete, you'll find the mod pack in the Instances tab. Just click Play and you're ready to kick off your adventure. If you encounter a Java error during installing with any of the methods, I've included a link to download Java in the description. Thanks for watching.